Alright, so I've returned from the abyss. Let's do this, man. Let's play some more video games. Right now I'm playing the co uh, oh, whoops. Gosh darn it. <laughs> One of these days, I'll fix my timer. There we go. Right now I'm playing the collect complete zero collection. I do own that for DS. It's pretty cool. I've beaten zero one in the past. It's been a long time though. I've never beaten zero two or any of the others. I've played zero two. I haven't played zero three or zero four. I've played none of these games on stream. I want to play all of them on stream at some point. I think that would be cool. Yeah, I need to play, like, Mega Man Legends as well. Like, there's so many Mega Man games I would love to play on stream at some point. I mean, to be fair, there's just a lot of games in general. <laughs> there really is. So when will I try Garbage next? I think I'll do it tomorrow. If you're down to watch. That, that would be something I would like to do, get out of the way. Cause like, I'm pretty sure I could beat it pretty fast, man. The question is, what will I play after? Oh yeah, I can do Blackman's Challenge as well. Cause yeah, he wanted me to play his, uh, his levels in Mario Maker, so I can do that. No response from Banks? <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I'm working on it. You need to see me play ZX and getting wrecked by the bosses? Nah, man, nah, I ain't scared of no bosses in Mega Man ZX. Cause aren't, aren't, uh, the bosses in Mega Man Zero harder? I thought Mega Man Zero was a super hard one. Aw, oh, come on, man. There we go. Oh no, I, I lost the dash somewhere, dude. Lost the dash. Rest in peace. Man, the lag there was ridiculous. Tomorrow's perfect? Yo, that's good to hear. You took the day off since you're closing on the house? Alright, perfect. It sounds like it'll work out. It's <laughs> fun July, man. Can we never be chill, dude? Like, never, ever be chill with one another? That doesn't seem to be the case. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Finally, man. Sponge throws me a bone. I mean, he was still doing a lot of strike chains, so it was like a bad fight. But this is still better than <laughs> most of the fights. Not by much, but still better. See, so look at that. I'm four whole seconds ahead. Like, there's so much time to save, but... You know, between messing up log jumps and Sponge just not really liking my face too much, it's tough. You know, Wolfgang saying, but I'm going to be honest with you, you were probably going to not have enough time for Glacko's levels tomorrow. No, nah, man, I don't believe you because that would require me to beat it well actually you have a good point it depends how long Blackham's levels are like I'm over here just assuming it's something I could probably do in like 30 minutes or an hour yes yes first try 
It's what I want, man. Feels good when you just do a, a difficult jump and you just get it first try. Yeah, nah, you're right, Wolfgang. I'll have to ask Wolfgang how long he thinks it'll take me to beat his levels. Turned a little too fast there. Ah, uh, one day. One day the dream. Yeah, Wolfgang points out that Doomsday will usually provide... Uh, usually provides reasonable estimates of clear times. Hmm. Ah, no dash, rip! Alright, whatever, man. Work with what you got. Tomorrow. Tomorrow we will play Super Mario Maker. I will play your level and we'll see how difficult it is. Time will tell. You couldn't uh, send me the bookmark for that right now, could you, by chance? Stag, easy peasy. Alright, doing good, man, doing good. I want to save at least six seconds. There's 14 seconds to save. I have never saved that time. In forever. We know what it looks like to get that time, like what the game wants me to do. mistakes. You can send me the bookmark, whisper it, put it in chat, you just put it in chat, that would be fine. Oh my goodness. Too low. Hey, 
got to practice stag, man. I'm <laughs> having way too many bad fights with him. Like, cause this fight's not even that hard, dude, but I keep missing, like, all these free, easy shots. Hey, there we go, yo. Thanks, Wolfgang, I appreciate it. Yeah, I was hoping to gain 4 seconds, I instead lost 3.5. Gosh darn it. I mean, part of that's the climb, but yeah, also, it's just missing shots, dude. Gotta stop missing shots. Alright, where are you at, Centipede? Why do I keep forgetting to use Rush Burner there? Yes, I finally got the jump. I've been messing that up a lot. Could be worse. Air dash, thanks. <laughs> I really need good RNG. I'm at half health. Well, slightly above half, but still. What's going on here? Nothing crazy, man. Just playing some Mig Man. Just let's play in some Mega Man? Get out of here, Doomsday. Get out of here. <laughs> Nothing like some good old Mega Man, yo. Mega Man's pretty good. Yeah, we saved a lot of time there. Yeah, apparently there's a possible 18 seconds to save 17. And that's with, uh, that's not with perfect, um, mini boss. There's, uh, there's another gold split in, in the near future for Centipede. <laughs> Yo, sleep's in here! This ah, oh, that buttery smooth movement? Yo, sometimes movement's pretty smooth. Feels good. I meant to equip that. Just wanted my strike chain, man. Just wanted the strike chain. Am I bothering anybody? Just because I want a strike chain? Come on. Yo, Sinky, uh, yo, have you played Brawlhalla before? Um, Brawlhalla. That's the Smash game with, uh, like, swords and stuff, I think? And, like, really animated kind of, or anime kind of art style or something, I think? I don't think I've ever played it, 
I've seen it before. I have a few friends that play the game. I've never played it myself. Yeah, I've always just preferred normal Smash Brothers. Looks like a good game, though. Alright, what's up, Snail? Yes! Good snail fight! Oh, jeez. Stinky says it's like Smash Bros, but almost more simplified. It's free on new gen consoles. Oh, is it? Okay. You played for nine hours straight yesterday and today? Oh, snap! Yo, man. Yo, you really like Brawlhalla, huh? Oh, wow. I'm 31 seconds ahead. <laughs> I didn't realize. Yeah, I saved 13 seconds, dude. I have a possible 15, apparently. Yo, I could crash the bike and bonk my head on surges and potentially still PB because of uh, the time save on uh, Sigma. But I have to have a good Gator in Boss Rush. If I don't have a good Gator in Boss Rush, then definitely not. Like, there's leeway, but it's not infinite. <laughs> it's not an infinite amount of leeway. Finally! <laughs> Yo, Vex says this is the run. <laughs> you turn back, you tuned uh, back in at the worst time, you're gonna kill it. <laughs> Wait, what? You lost me, Vex. And your cyclone saying, holy Christ, Vex is on PB pace, we have a run, boys. Time loss, eh, at least we didn't crash the bike, man. At least we didn't crash the bike. That's, I'll take it. I've got to perfect my movement there, though. Like, I need to, like, set aside time and, like, practice just getting the heart. Because I'm getting pretty inconsistent at it. Oh, he thinks his mere presence will ruin my luck. Oh. Oh, I see. Either that or he plans to drop bits. <laughs> yeah, no, I think he just meant uh, the luck thing. See, so, yeah, look at that. I lost, I lost, what is that? 1.8 seconds? Vexatious. It's all your fault. Why did you do that? It cost me 1.8 seconds, dude. Why? Definitely isn't because I'm just bad at, like, going left and right on a bicycle. Couldn't be that. It's definitely vexatious. He hacked the game, took out 1.8 seconds. It's very rude. <laughs> oh, it's just, it's just Thank You Mamba. There's no real PV here. I mean, maybe, man. Like, all I gotta do is die on surges, and it's all going. That's all I gotta do. And I've been dying on surges a lot recently, so... We'll see how that goes, man. I'll try not to die, but I'm not the best at that jump.
That's a hard jump, to be fair. Oh, the old robot loves me! No! No, not like this! Not like this! Oh, it's all over, dude. Oh, he got him. He got him. Could be worse, could be worse. Could be worse. <laughs> Work with what you got, man. Yeah, the lag, though, from Rush Burner is ridiculous. Like, I had to pause just to switch to the wheel, man. But even if this clanks out, it's better than the lag of Rush Burner. I can't believe I hit him there. I was so certain he was gonna hit me and it was gonna cancel my my attack out, but no, we got him. We got him. Darn moth. Hey. Alright, let's do bubble crab. <laughs> that was a nice hat, yo. Putting it close on that last moth hit. Yeah, dude. I can't believe he didn't bump into me, dude. Like, he was inside of me, and he still didn't get the hit. Uh, we do take those. We literally take those to the bank every time. No, not like that! I would get the slope jump second try. Gosh darn it, man. Yeah, that's that's time loss all right there. The bubble crab in my PB is pretty legit. Yep, whatever, man. I gotta go. Oh, this is terrible. We're messing it all up. Yeah, this is this is bad. Video games are hard. No, don't jump. <laughs> Whatever, crab. Whatever, dude. Oh, dude. That's such a giant time loss. <laughs> oh, jeez. It doesn't even feel like that long, man. It doesn't even feel like that long. But then, then you see the time go away and you just cry. It's all because I couldn't do one stupid slope jump or get the neon backup. I couldn't do either one. And then I bumped into things on the climb. I lost that much time. And yeah, I'm sure part of this Bubble Crab fight too, I don't remember how I used to do it. I was never consistent at Bubble Crab, but I had a good Bubble Crab once. 
Rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace, man. I needed that buffer. I really did. Now it's gone. I'm sad now. Yep, and that's a crane. And I lost my fire. That's very bad. Oh, that's worse. <laughs> that's worse. Yeah, no, video games are too hard to PB. Oh well. We'll just we'll just finish the run and try not to die on surges, that would be great. If I could just not die in surges, I could still PB. Just have to not die. Get good, yo man. Getting good's too hard. Alright, just be good. Just be good. I just need one good, that's all I need. to do was hold right. All I had to do was hold right, but I got so scared. I got so scared that I was gonna die, and I just really hesitated. I was like, what do I do? And then I fell down, because I hesitated. All I had to do was hold right. That was it! That was the skip. That was the PB. And I threw it in the garbage. Threw the PB right into the garbage, because I hate PBs. I don't want anything to do with PBs. Why would I want to get a new personal best? Why would I want sub 38? That is so trashy. I would much rather have a 38 minute run. Obvi. Yeah, 38 minute run? Let's, let's go for 39, man. That's way better. Let's go for a 39 minute run. Let's just do that real quick. All I had to do was hold right. That's all I had to do! Thanks, are you a jelly kind of guy? You mean what, like peanut butter or jelly? I prefer peanut butter. 38 is greater than 37, so obviously it's better. Yup. Yo, Daniel, with the get good. I'm so sad, dude. I'm so sad. The PB was right there. It was right there, and I just threw it away. I looked that PB in the face, and I said, not today. Not today, PB. I don't want you. I'm so sad. Oh well, we'll just, we'll, it's still technically possible, it's just exceptionally unlikely.
Uh, hitting that bat didn't help, because I had to heal there. But, like, I messed up, so I didn't have much of a choice if I wanted to go fast. saying? <laughs> Yo, gate guide? Yeah, that's for sure. Snatching defeat from the jaws of victory, a how to by super to you. Well said, Wolfgang. You just need a juicy agile? Nah. Like, agile, that's not a time save stage. Like, my agile is one of my best stages in the game. Like, it's pretty optimized outside of, um, release neons. So there's there's no time to save an agile. Agile's my best stage. Only stages I can save time in are my bad stages, because I can do better. When you're scared of some fire and the PV goes out the window, yeah. Like, cause like it the fire wasn't that big a deal. It wasn't that big a deal, and I did it throughout, when I was doing the 10 race relay against King Hippo, like when I, I didn't go for it every time, but when I did, when I get hit by the fire, I would just hold right and it would be fine, but I panicked. I panicked so hard. Man, you have to be so close to Centipede to get the one hit. Like, it's just like, my hands touching his hand, we're touching one another, and like, I go for the Shoryuken, and I'm still not close enough. I'm still not close enough to Centipede, like, my sprite has to be mad inside of him to be able to get that one hit. Alright, don't jump, 1 out of 10 chance. <sighs> I messed up. Messed it up! <laughs> Messed it all up! Yeah, I failed to sure you can input. I pressed Y too fast. Yeah, that's like a good 5 or 6 second time loss right there. Yeah, it depends just how bad my boss rush is, man. Yo, just don't use strike chain. Just don't do it. Just jump right towards me, okay? Oh, or that. That works too. I was so ready for the jump, I sure you'd instantly, man. I didn't even wait to see what he did, I just sure you I was like, he'll jump. He'll jump. Not quite. So that was a little slower, but could could be way worse. I should grab the health, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna grab the health, man. I wanna try to PB. Oh, it's it's gonna be so tight. Yo, D's saying, uh, what is up, Drama Alert Nation? It's your host, D's the best. Yo, what's up, D's? How you doing, good sir? Alright, let's do Gator. <sighs> I messed it up instantly. Yo, he went back down! Ah, oh, that's the worst luck, dude. There goes any chance of PB. There goes any chance. Gator decided to be just really lame, dude. Because he could have just jumped. He could have just jumped like he did last time. He's like, nope! Let me throw all of your hopes into the garbage. All of your hopes into the garbage. Thank, thanks, Gator. Thanks, man. You're a real swell guy. You know that? Real swell guy. I appreciate what you do. I appreciate it. Well, 
Rest in peace, the dream, man. Rest in peace, the dream. Ah, oh, I really wanted it. In what world, man? I don't really know how that works, but I went for it. Because I was like, I can't save the time to PB. Like, I can't do it if I do a normal fight with Snail, so I might as well be fast about it. Yo, rest in peace, man. Yeah, I think it's like a 50 chance, like a 50-50 chance of being able to sure you can him or not. Like, I was like, I can't get the PB, so I might as well try, and I didn't get it. Yeah, nah. Gator ruined everything, and I messed up on Bubble Crab. Yeah, between Gator and Bubble Crab, we just lost all the time. I was like, look at that, there's 29 seconds to save on Sigma. 29, dude. It's pretty free, but not with a boss rush like that. That trash can must have a lot of hope in it, it really does. Yo, just chillin', how about you? What happened to PB pace? Um, surges. I bonked my head, man. I could be 20 seconds ahead right now. Or compared to where I am, I mean. Uh, <laughs> whatever, dude. Like, I easily could be, like, plus 20.5 instead of plus 40.5. And there would have been a chance to PB. It wouldn't have been sub 38, but a PB is a PB. We take those. But nah, man, I I didn't hold right. I just didn't hold right. That's all I had to do was just hold the direction. I'd be 20 seconds ahead right now. And to think there was so much hope. Yeah, there's a lot of hope. But we done goofed, man. We done goofed. Let's just take it out on the- Oh! Up! Oh, up! Oh, not taking it out on Sigma! He's, uh, he's taking it out on us. Yo, what is this pattern right now? Interesting. Interesting pattern, Mr. Sigma. That was, uh, that was really bad. Like, yeah, no, we were definitely not getting the full 29. <laughs> with stuff like that happening. I mean, I already messed up, like, the Zero fight, but still. Whoops. Alright. <laughs> Whoops. Yo, there we go. 38-42, whatever. It shouldn't be 38-41, but buttons are hard. Oh, man. I was so close! I was so close, man. So super close. I mean, that's still a good run, though. Still a good run. We made some mistakes. Overall execution was pretty alright. But yeah, I messed up, um... I messed up on Bubble Crab stage. That cost me 10 seconds. But I'm, I'm always gonna lose time on Bubble Crab until I get back to where I used to be. I used to be a lot better at that stage. Um, we lost 3 seconds on Violin. I should save time on that stage, but... I got grabbed by the crane. Surges didn't hold right. Agile's normal to lose, like, we lost 1.2 seconds there, like, and that's with me pausing to heal, like, <laughs> losing time on Agile, like, that happens, and even then, it's, it's gonna be, like, 1-2 seconds, maybe 3, it's not a big deal, I'm really good at Agile, Boss Rush, oh, Bubble Crab and Gator, please, yo, Gator trolled me so hard, like, I could've had a bad Gator, and still would've had a chance to PB, but we had a super bad Gator, 
It wasn't just your normal bad gator, nah, he went full force. But yeah, nah, there was so much time to save on Sigma, but I messed up, uh, I waited for blocks to clear instead of jumping up to the top. Um, I messed up the Shoryukens on Zero, and then we got bad RNG on Sigma, so wasn't the best. Was not the best. But yeah, we'll run it right back. Give me one sec. We got this. All right, I'm back. It's time to time to PB, man. Time to PB. All right, clear up my split. So what were we saying in chat? Oh yeah, how King Hippo's PB was like 43 minutes. Yeah, Hippo's PB before the set of 10 was 43 and change. The 10th race Hippo had to run 19 seconds behind Banks. We had one of his worst times in the set. Yeah, now that last race was my worst performance, man. I was getting real anxious. It was, uh, it was scary times. But we managed to clutch it out. Like, I just had the better, I had the better boss rush than, uh, King Hippo did. Because he was ahead of me. But then we did the boss rush, man. And I, I held it down. And I didn't, uh, didn't make any mistakes on Sigma. Because that could have costed me as well, but nah. But yeah, still, he PB'd by like 3 minutes overall throughout the uh, race, I believe. That's really good. Man, I'd love to PB by 3 minutes. <laughs> 35 time, dude, in my dreams. Yo, Sanky says, I believe in you, you can do this, I believe it. Yo, thank you. I mean, it's very possible, you know? Like, you just, you gotta commit the time, that's all it is. In my opinion, you know, when it comes to speedrunning, all it takes is time. If you put in the time, it'll happen for you. <laughs> Speaking of which, let's, uh, let's get that gold split real quick. Because, yeah, there's a possible... 0.9 seconds to save, but we saved one whole second. So, you know, look at that massive, massive difference there. Yo, know, all frames matter, dude. King Hippo, the best hippo? Yeah, he did really good. It was a really fun race, man. Like, all 10 of the races. The relay was pretty intense. Oh, you think of when we see King Hippo's punch out? Yeah. It's funny, because, like, the King Hippo guy we're talking about, he's actually never played punch out, I believe. Or he didn't. Like, that's not where the name came from. It's not actually the best at punch out, but he's definitely played it since. Ah, jeez. <laughs> Not my best stage. Not the best. But yo, no bonk on the scorpion robot. It's a good omen. We got this. Look at that no bonk. <laughs> Gold split, here comes a bad sponge. Yo, I know, right? It has to be a bad sponge to invalidate the gold split, right? Like, that's the only way it works. All well, starting out real pretty. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's bad. <laughs> Rip. It started off real pretty, man, but in the end, it was just another raging sponge. That's unfortunate. That could have been real good. I could have had a pretty nice time save, but nope. Nope, Sponge decided that wasn't going to be the case. Yeah, that we could have an extra eight seconds on top of that. At least six, which would have been a gold split. But yeah, we just had a really bad sponge. King Hippo's name isn't from Punch Out, mind blown. Yeah, I like I'm not like a super journalist, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that D Train said that. That it doesn't come from Punch Out. When you're 9.2 seconds ahead, but you decide to spend all of that time doing one jump. <laughs> it's the best. That's weird, man. Like, sometimes I'm consistent and I can do it first try. And then other times, it takes me three to four tries. I used to be, like, super consistent, but I'm still a bit rusty from the old days. Oh wow, that's not the best. I didn't jump high enough there. Ceiling OP, why? Nice! I needed that one cycle gator. With how many times I messed up the stupid capsule jump. Definitely needed that. Absolutely. With every run, every fail, we get closer to the PB? Exactly. Gotta believe. Believe in the PB. Alright, I just need a good stag fight. Need a decent climb. Right, don't get hit. Doesn't need perfect movement. Just don't get hit, don't fall. And then just just hit stag every time, you know? Just don't miss. Don't miss. I'm tired of missing the stag. It doesn't need to be missed. Rudy Train saying, well his story is it's from the Wii Punch Out that he never played. Actually they didn't play a punch out game until you won a raffle. Yo, rip. Yo, that's weird. Yo, Profection's in here. Yo, how's it going, man? Oh, whoops! <laughs> that's not how that works! Oh, come on. Bomb to my head. No bombs, please.
speed. I didn't fall down that time like I did the last two times. Yo, practically PB'd already, man. Practically PB'd already. Beginning of the run. Haven't even done Centipede yet. I didn't see the second one coming. Yes! That'll do, man. That'll do. Not the best, but that was pretty good for me. Relatively. Relatively good. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. It's the best stag I've done in a while. Now if I can just not throw all of that time away in Centipede. Just not throw all 20 seconds. Imagine saving time instead of throwing it in the garbage can. That jump is apparently too hard. Maybe one day, when I'm a full-grown Mega Man, I'll be able to do that jump. Well, not saving any time here! And I have no real springer. <laughs> Man! Can't jump over it. And I'm crushed to death! <sighs> well, you know, who, who wants to have anything good in this world? Not me! Uh, not me. <laughs> Man, how should I have handled this? with my inability to use Rush Burner. Just, just damage boost through. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Video games are stupid. <laughs> PB status blocked. Yo, sometimes you're good, sometimes you're bad at video games, man. Oh, that was so bad. Because I, I knew the mistake I made as I made it. I shot that rush burner as I was climbing up the wall. I didn't mean to do that. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be short one rush burner. I know it when all the other runs, man. So many runs. I've just had extra ammo I've picked up along the way by accident. But no, nah, man. Not that time. Extra ammo for the rush burner. No, no, no. Do precisely what you need. Don't squander it. <laughs> but I did squander it. I'm sorry. Rest in peace. Why reset over that? Cause I died. <laughs> yeah. 
Yo, where are my jumps at? I just slid on the wall. I'm like, eh, I don't need to jump off this wall. I like sliding off of it. It's fun. It's a fun wall to slide on, man. You don't understand. was like a 10 second time loss. Yeah, but I was already tilted, it didn't matter. Like, that was, that was garbage. I wasn't gonna run that, that's not gonna happen. I don't desperately want the one second PB that bad. I really don't. <laughs> I don't I don't really need the one second PB. I'll be okay without it. Man, it's just too difficult. We're gone two minutes and we restart. Nah, man, we got the world record. We got the world record. We beat the game really fast. Like, it was like what? Sub. Yo, it was sub 13. The world record was like 32 minutes. I improved it by like 20 minutes. And I was like, you know what? That one doesn't count because I'm too good. I should set a lower world record than that. So I decided to do another run. Why did I not kill him? Whatever, I don't care. <laughs> did you sponge again? Yeah, yeah, that's that's what it was. I wanted to do sponge again. Sponge is my favorite. Like, there is no robot. Like, there's literally no fight in this game as well designed as the sponge fight, you know? It's like, you can strike chain and block your attacks, but with speedrun, you know, mentality, you just you just damage boost. You still get your hits in. Um, you can also, you can jump, and so you can shoot him while he's jumping. You can't even block those, but you have to look out. Don't let him touch you. That deals, like, five damage on contact. Uh... And then there's, uh, there's the go on to the ceiling attack, man. Look out for that one. Because you can shoot down little spores and stuff, and they grow into these little seedlings. As long as there isn't four on the ground, he'll keep climbing up. Or if he hits the ceiling on his head, then he'll also go down. It's just so well designed. It's such an incredibly designed fight. And then, to mix things up so it doesn't get too stale, when he hits about, uh, half HP, if he's uh, not in the middle of performing the action, he will go into a rage, a berserker stance, if you will. And uh, yeah, he summons a lightning. How cool is that? That is pretty sweet, if you ask me. Really, really, really cool. More people should design fights like Sponge. It's just, it's too good. Magnum Opus. We'll never top it. Never. Which is fine, you know. We, we can always relive Sponge. We don't need them to, like, recreate a second Sponge. Mega Man X3, nothing but eight Maverick Sponges. It's okay now, we don't need that. But, you know, I wouldn't mind if, like, they want to do cameos. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, new DLC character, why Sponge? The best character. Okay. Speaking of best character, let's go.
<laughs> Yo! And then we have the best RNG? The best? But, but I never have good RNG. What's the special occasion? I don't know what the occasion is, but I'm quite the fan. Yo, I'll take it, man. I'll take it. That was so close to a gold split, dude. That was so exceptionally close. If I had not messed up log jump like two times in a row, or if I had just got an elevator skip, either one of those, that would have been a gold split. Because we had best RNG on the sponge. We're .13 seconds off from gold split, I think it was. Oh, whoops. But I'll just waste all that time here. <laughs> just like last time. Capsule jumps are too hard. I mean, to be fair, last time we were failing at capsule jump, that was with a 9 second lead. This time we had a 17 second lead. So, you know, there's, there's more time to throw away. It's all good. Yeah, I, I just gotta practice that, man. I gotta, I gotta perfect that. That would be nice. That sponge split, yo, sponge was very nice to us. <laughs> no, he didn't he didn't get knocked back. He normally gets knocked back. Nah, it's ruined. Goodbye all the time. Sometimes I'm good, and then other times I'm just bad. And that's such a shame, because like that was that was such good pace. Wait, I didn't get the uh, the free one second. I, I want that free one second. Not that it matters for much, because like I can't get past Gator, but you know. <laughs> Sometimes I can. Sometimes I just one cycle him. It's like, you know, not a big deal, I'll just one cycle Gator. And then other days it's like, oh man. Let me just hit him one time at a time. I don't I don't wanna be too mean. I don't wanna bully him. That'd be rude. I am a good little Mega Man. Dr. Light would be proud. Gosh darn it. Jumping so hard sometimes. Just like the wall slide. I don't wanna jump off the wall, I like it there. <laughs> Yo, it'll be perfect any second now, man. Perfect run. I should try to get good. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. It's like, I swear, it doesn't matter. It's like, there's just, there's been so many times where I've just gone into the room with Gator and I've just practiced, uh... Just practice doing the stupid uh, strike chains and just getting the one cycle. And I'll get it three times in a row, and I'm like, all right, I'm good. You know, I, I got it three times in a row. And I'll wait a bit, and I'll come back, like maybe like 30 minutes, an hour later. I'm like, all right, let me let me try this again. And I'll I'll use the strike chains, and I'll just I'll do it. I'll perfect gator three times in a row. I'm like, yep, I'm the master at one cycling gator. And then I can't do it, man. I can't do it. Not in a run, it's impossible. Except sometimes. But definitely not after a god sponge. Definitely not. A god sponge, that's like what? Once in a. Once every like three months for a god sponge? I'm pretty sure that's the rule. God sponges can't be too frequent. It's against the rules, man. No! Why? I just want elevator skip. Is that asking for too much? I mean, at least that one's just my bad and not RNG. That's always nice. Sometimes you're just bad. Which is good because if you're bad, you can improve and you can do better. But Sponge Man? I mean, that's that's the funny thing. Because, like, Sponge, he's like, I'm RNG <laughs> the king. Like, I am king of RNG. And then Gator's like, nah, no RNG over here, friend. I saw you're having a tough time. I'm I'm pure skill. But I only got so much skill, Gator. I'm not that good. No, no, no. You want no RNG. I'm pure skill. Oh, geez. Oh, man. Sponge is trying to be nice, and I'm, like, really bad at playing video games. Yeah. He wasn't even that nice. Yep, yep, I figured. I mean, like, why not? I almost died. Alright, you know, sometimes you start and you have like a 14 second time lead, right? Like 14 seconds. Other times you're ahead by like 3 and that's, you know, that's cool too. Just as good. Alright, what do you want, Gator? What do you want from me? No! What was that? I had it, and then I just fell down, man. I just, I was doing that whole slide again, and not jumping. I could have sworn I pressed jump, but I, I just didn't jump. There's no jumping. I mean, I jumped the initial time, and then I slid, and there's no jump. I always mass jump. This game's too hard. That's what it is. It's just way too hard. That's the secret. So you saying good skill on run banks? On runs? Uh, I've got a mission for tomorrow, so I'll tune in again next time. Yo, thanks for coming by, Sleep, and yo, hope you have a good day. Or good night, <laughs> excuse me. Hopefully your mission goes well. Alright, 
Here's what we do, right? Be good. Okay. Plan in action. Let's do it. Intro is literally the best, the <laughs> best intro, man. 2017. Look at that. It's got a 17 in it. That's how you know it's for 2017. That was a good dash. My favorite part was how I didn't dash. failed to get the correct height so many times that I was really jumping high and then I was too high to make the jump. Alright, well, we'll just have a double god sponge, you know? Like, I, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. Good. All double god sponge. We got one god sponge, and then we didn't, and now we're gonna have another one. Easy peasy. Alright, off to a bad start on a god sponge. No, that's not gonna work. Oh. Yeah, no. Bad plan. <laughs> Bad plan. <laughs> double rage sponge? Yo, man. I never had a double rage sponge. Never. And then the race happens. And I had a double rage sponge. I cried that day. Yeah, that's 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 the moment when I knew I was truly rusty. All right, forty-five gate. That's pretty good. I just got to beat this boss. My favorite boss in the whole game. I fight him every time. Oh, <laughs> nice shot there, Vince. Best timing. Just because I didn't care if I got rage? I mean, that is also a thing. I wasn't exactly trying to stop him from raging. I swear he just loves he just loves it, man. He just is he's so angry and he thrives off of it. He shouldn't do that, man. Sponge needs to chill out. Oh, I can't long jump to rip. 
Me, that stuff makes me suicide. It's like I'll get log jump like four times in a row, and then not not ever again, never again. Sponge yet. I mean, I know that's literally impossible. It can't be more chill than God Sponge, but still. I didn't, uh, I didn't expect that, good friends. Come on, you want to go up there. You want to do it. Of course you don't. He doesn't care. He doesn't care about anything that I want. I don't know. Why, why do I even care about Sponge, right? Why not just let him rage every time? Because <laughs> it's so annoying resetting. Tommy's saying, hey, Banks, what equipment do you use to record Mega Man X2? Uh, I just use the emulator, so I'm just capturing the window in OBS. Like, I have the game on Super Nintendo. But, like, that stuff is all covered in... Wait, no, no, I don't have X2 anymore. I had X2. I have X1. Well, I actually have Rockman X1. Yeah, nothing crazy. What is the bit glass supposed to do? Um, it doesn't do anything. You can just see, like, what's collected in the cup. Gosh darn it, man. Yeah, I, I don't even care. No reset run. Call it here. No reset run. I don't even care. We're gonna beat the game. Don't care which robot masters I fail at. Who kills me? What blocks I get crushed by? Nope. I'm done. <laughs> no more resetting. I just want to beat the game. All that matters. With speedrun.com? Yeah. Um, the emulator that I use is SNES9X version 1.53. Because not every emulator is accepted, it's only certain emulators. Like, you can't use ZSNES. ZSNES is uh, not allowed because it has a uh, faulty, I believe, emulation. Um, I believe SNES9X version 1.51 1 is the faster one, but uh, I personally don't use it because, like, like, obviously it is a, uh, what's the word? It's not as good. It's just not as good as 1.53. Like, obviously, if all you care about is speed, then 1.51 is the faster emulator. But 1.53, it has better sound. It has more options. I just, I can't deal with 1.51 after using 1.53 for so long. But, you know, whatever, uh, whatever works for you, man. There you go, buddy. Fourth try is the charm. No reset run. <laughs> no, I didn't get the skip. I wanted it so bad in my heart. I completely lost that dash input. If that robot hadn't hit me, I'd be dead in the spikes, I assure you. Like, my input was just gone. Didn't exist. That robot saved my life. Alright, that's a bad omen. <laughs> we bonked into the scorpion. Never want to bonk into a scorpion, man. It's bad luck. Oh, 
Okay, nah, no more reset cyclone. I'm all done. I just want to beat the game. Uh-oh. <laughs> I want to die, though. I'd rather not. <laughs> That'll do. That will do. There's so much time to save on the stage if I could just stop um, being bad at log skip. How you want to do this, Gator? You want to be chill? And <laughs> that'll do your pick, that'll do? Yo, pretty much. Man, I haven't watched that in what, decades? Third time's a charm. Like, I don't get what it is, because, like, I'm definitely hitting the wall, and I'm pressing the jump button, like, I mash it to try to get that first jump out, but sometimes I just kind of fall through the corner. It doesn't surprise me, I've, I've been seeing this for a very, very long time. I just wish I could get more consistent. I mean, I used to be, back in the day, before I got rusty. I'm not playing this game for ages. Dude, y'all, let's go. Oh, it feels nice. I would miss the very last hit. Of course, I would. Gator, come on, boy. Come on, out of the water, dude. Yeah, just just take your time. Maximum time on the saws. You do that. Oh, I was so close to the one cycle. I was so close. Oh well. It is what it is. No reset run. Yumzi says, you know, if you didn't do stupid hard strats, you'd have better success. Well, like, it depends how you define success. Like, sure a uh, toddler that is learning how to walk like you know there's there's two ways he could uh, achieve getting a bottle that's on like the other side of the room or I guess not a bottle more like a sippy cup like he could he could crawl there and he'll get to that sippy cup really fast or he can you know work on that balance that he's developing and actually try to walk across the floor to make it to the sippy cup I mean that's up to him like, he'll get there, he can definitely get to the sippy cup crawling, like, he's got that down, pat, no worries. Or, he could walk on his two legs, that's up to the toddler, you know? Whatever he wants to do, if he wants to work on those muscles, that'd be cool too. <laughs> oh no! I tried to turn right! I did it too fast. <laughs> I 
<laughs> a little late of a switch there, Vinks. Squirrels. Enjoy saying a toddler forever? You do realize in that analogy you're the baby that's crawling, right? <laughs> Just or the toddler that's crawling, excuse me. Uh oh. Hit, I didn't think I would. Well, sometimes you're good at stag, other times you're not. <laughs> That's okay, work with what you got. You're aware? Okay, just making sure. Also aware that your summer best is almost a minute better than mine? Yo, good job. You got across the floor real fast! You did it! So quick. Fours. I don't know how you do it. All right, Magnus Centipede. Hmm, I did not do that right. Whatever, no reset run. The past is the past. I can only see what is in front of me. I do not look back. I didn't use that. I should have. Gosh darn it, man. I'm messing that up more and more frequently. Recently. Frequently. That's okay, it'll all be made up right here if we can just one shot the mini boss. Nope. Four shot, I'll take it. Oh no, I shot the rush burner, dude! I switched just a little too fast to <laughs> rippity dip. I apparently picked up ammo at some point. Not a big deal. Tommy's saying, hey Vinks, what's your favorite game of 2017? Uh, hmm. I don't know, probably Sonic Mania. I really enjoyed that game. I don't know, I think it's probably the, like, out of, like, just straight level design. I think it has the best level design out of uh, anything I've played this year. Like, obviously, like, um, I really like Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild, I think, is a great experience. Not that it's a bad game, I think it's a great game the very first time you play it, but I think it has real low replayability, in my opinion. Like, I think the game's more meant to just, oh, wow, <laughs> what? <laughs> well, what's this gold on centipede? What did I do? Uh, hmm. I don't know. Interesting. I didn't. I don't remember being good. No, nah, no, nah, I remember messing things up. Whatever, I'll take it. There's a better gold out there for Centipede, because that was not the best. I mean, the boss fight, like, I think I had best RNG on the, the uh, attack he did, but still. I mean, I did four hit the sword.
And Breath of the Wild, really good. Super Mario Odyssey, also really good. But you know, it's a subjective thing. Like, Super Mario Odyssey, while I believe has fantastic level design, its, it's level design is catered towards everyone. And so, some things are just really easy. Not that that's a bad thing, and they definitely put things in to make the game more enjoyable for different playstyles, which I love about that. The fact that it has multi-tiered level design... Ah, I pressed start too early. For, uh, different skill... Uh, players of different skill levels is so cool. But, Sonic Mania does the same thing, and I think they do it way better, but again, to be fair, it's a 2D game versus a 3D game, which is a whole different thing. So in that regard, I think, um... Mario Odyssey is just phenomenal. But yeah, if I had to choose one, it would definitely be Sonic Mania. Uh, jumping's too hard. Jumping's way too hard. Oh, uh, let's see. Got good? <laughs> it happens now and then. Oh, Sonic Mania is how you found my stream? Yeah, it's it's a really good game, it really is. Nice! But, um, yeah, Deez was saying I agree with the replay value. I really don't enjoy playing Breath of the Wild now after ages of not playing it, even though I want to 100% it. Yeah, it's, it can be tough. Like, I enjoyed the experience of it when I was first playing the game. Just seeing all these new things, all these interesting interactions. I love the cooking in the game. I am a sucker for cooking in video games. I really am. And the fact that it's actually useful, <laughs> that's pretty good, man. There's no way I was going to not enjoy that. So yeah, I, uh, I really like that game. And you know, Tommy's saying, still the game I played most this year, uh, but Mario Odyssey probably still beats it out, even though you're a huge Sonic fanboy. Ah, that's fair. You know, it's, it's a very subjective thing. Like, Sonic Mania is just my opinion. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people that prefer... Mario Odyssey to Sonic Mania, which makes plenty of sense. They're just, they have different design principles, and it's all over. I have no idea why I crashed the bike there. Literally none. I have no idea. Didn't even make it to the heart. Didn't even make it to the heart, dude. Didn't even make it. So I get to go die again. I get to go die a second time. And who knows if I'll make it to the heart then. Oh, I'm sad. I'm so sad. So exceptionally sad, dude. I don't have a lot of practice of doing that. I normally just take the bike there. But I crashed! Why did I crash? I took the ramp. What was the problem? What was the problem, dude? I don't even know. I just don't know. And that makes me the saddest penguin in all the land. Cyclone says I haven't even gone back to Breath of the Wild, though I did get the champion amiibo for some stupid reason. <laughs> you know, fair enough. Yeah, no, I'll definitely uh, play the game again when the like new DLC comes out. But short of that, I really have no interest in retouching Breath of the Wild. But yeah, with like Sonic Mania and Mario Odyssey, like one's a 2D game and one's a 3D game. That by itself is going to give so much more to Mario Odyssey. I personally have a preference towards 2D games more than 3D games. Not that I dislike 3D games at all, I love them a lot. Like Super Mario 64 is easily one of my favorite games. Like definitely. But yeah, a lot of people look at 2D as inferior. So, it would have such a hard time competing, just due to the fact that it's 2D. And then a huge part of it is also that, um, with Mario Odyssey, its levels 
like in aesthetics, there's so much, so much new things, like just experiencing the game visually. There's so much new. Same thing with the music. There's so much new going on. Like, yeah, there's some callbacks. There's some nostalgia things in there, but not to the level of Sonic Mania. Sonic Mania has a lot of, uh, like, most of the game are old stages. Personally, I don't have a lot of experience with the Genesis game, so right off the start, it doesn't bother me as much. And then two, even though they're the same zones, like, they're completely redesigned. Like, there are sections that are the same, but the bulk of the stages are, they're bigger, they're much bigger than they were before, and like, yeah, they're just designed completely differently to work with the new engine of the game and Sonic's Drop Dash. And just the level of design just blows me away. I just, I've never seen a game levels designed that well in anything. Like, I think Sonic Mania is better than any Sonic game ever made. <laughs> like, not a contest. Like, Sonic 1, 2, and 3, man. Like, Sonic 3 and Knuckles is like the best one out of those IMO. And it just doesn't hold up to Sonic Mania. Sonic Mania takes everything that was good about Sonic 3 and Knuckles and everything that was good about Sonic CD, puts those together, gets rid of all of the problems, and yeah, that's just, it's too good. I mean, Odyssey definitely improved 64's stuff in a lot of ways, but at the same time it also simplified it, and I guess that's what I dislike. And again, I'm huge on gameplay more than I am, like, visual or audio things. I just don't really care that much. Like, I like things that look nice, and I like things that sound nice, but at the end of the day, like, it's just playing the game with me. And again, Mario Odyssey, I think, is really, 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 really good. Easily one of the best games of 2017, and one of the best games ever made. I really do feel this way. But yeah, I just prefer Mania. Oh, that was, that was all wrong. That was all wrong! You did it all wrong, Vince! You did it all wrong! And now I have a bug on my head. It's all over. It's all over. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Well, I said I wasn't gonna reset, so let's live that life, man. Live the life. Oh, I can't hit him on that side, I see. Yeah, I've gotten so bad at dodging those green bugs lately. I don't know why. You really hope the team from Mania makes one more game? And Mania only takes second place to Adventure for you, which only overtakes it for nostalgia. 2017's been a good year. Yo, 2017's been amazing. And yeah, I would love to see a Sonic Mania 2. I mean, it doesn't have to be called Mania 2. It, it, it can be called whatever. I don't care about the title. Just the same development team. And give them more reign to do new things. Like, in my opinion, everything that holds Sonic Mania back... Oh, I'm gonna die. It's just what Sonic Team forced into the game. Like, Sonic Team was like, nope, we gotta have Green Hill in here, and Chemical Plant, and Oil Ocean, and Flying Battery. People want old zones. Even though, like, the best zones are definitely, like, Studioopolis, uh, Mirage Saloon, not Act 11, uh... I mean, not everybody likes Titanic Monarch, but oh my goodness, Press Garden. I don't think I know anyone that dislikes Press Garden. Like, such a good zone. But yeah, if they allowed them to take more chances, you know, get rid of the 10 minute time limit, no one would hate Titanic Monarch if you got rid of the 10 minute time limit, because no one would die if they're having uh, trouble beating the stage. And then yeah, you know, we don't have to do all of this... Ah, I didn't mean to dash there. But yeah, we don't have to do all of the revisiting all these old stages. Don't, don't gotta do that. Be great. Oh, I did not defeat him. Oh well, that's fine. He's not gonna bother nobody. Yo, Super Sense Slayer! 
Yo, not up to much, man. Just playing them video games. <laughs> Please get good, man. I want to. Video games are hard. Ah, great. Not destroying that fish ruined me. <laughs> ruined me. Oh, well, I was already in the red. It's not a big deal. My mind's drawn a blank. Why was I switching weapons? I don't need to swap weapons in this room. Not to the very end. If only 2017 had a new Mega Man game. That would be awesome. I mean, we did get, uh, we got Mighty Gunvolt first, and that was cool. I like that game quite a bit. But it's, it's just a bit too simple. And again, they just, they feel this need to, like, follow the formula of Mega Man. This run began so good. Yo, the run started off pretty good. But then it was awful. I crashed the bike on Ostrich. And then, yeah, it was all downhill from there, man. But that's alright, I'm just gonna finish the run. Sometimes it's just good to get the practice in. Because, I mean, yeah, you want to get that PB. And when you're behind, and you're behind by a certain amount, it's like, well, I can't get the PB anymore, I should just reset. But, at the same time... You know, you need that experience for the later stages, because that way, you won't mess up as much down the line. Violin is gonna be super chill. He's such a nice guy. Consistency is worth so much. It really is. Consistency is king. And Violin hates me so much! What was that? He lifted his arms, what, five times in a row, dude? Just fully invulnerable. Oh, wow. Violin, I, I didn't know you felt that way about me. Sheesh. I've never seen him do that! I mean, I'm glad he did that on, like, a run that's already, you know, solidly in the red. Sheesh. He hates my guts. He hates everything about me. <laughs> and that's, uh, I lost zero seconds on that, that's crazy. Yeah, my stage was so good that even though I had the worst RNG, I lost no time. But, if you look at it the other way, I probably could have saved, like, about four seconds or something. Ugh, I did not land on the thing, dude. That's so hard to do. That's such a hard skip. Oh well. Better to mess it up when I'm already in the red, man. I gotta always practice it, like, because my PB 
has that jump, because I used to play this game, like, every day. And back then, man, I could do the skip, but now, <laughs> not so much. Not so much. It's a hard skip. You know, Super Sense Slayer, you know how you said video games are hard? Getting good at Melee is pretty hard. Oh yeah, Smash Brothers Melee, man? That game's pretty intense. Yeah, good luck playing that game with people that already have been playing it for years. You're gonna have real, real bad times. Ah, uh, bonked my head. Ah, uh, jeez. Cause like, I don't mind- if I bonk my head, that's 20 seconds gone every time, compared to my PB. And my PB, I definitely do the skip. So, bonking my head is lost 20 seconds. However, dying, which I did twice and then game over, that's much worse. So if I could at least be consistent enough to bonk my head, as bad as that is, that would be good. But yeah, it's just gonna take practice. It's just gonna take practice. Nah, it's easy peasy. Yo, D's the troll, confirmed. Yo, Tommy's saying I'm convinced I will never get good at Smash Brothers. It's, um, like, you could definitely do it if you just wanted to and you set aside the time. Like, anybody can get good at any video game. Like, there's literally nothing stopping anyone. Like, sure, some people have more, uh, talent. Like, talent's a very real thing. It can, it can easily be measured. But, uh, still though, like, there's always a limit on what you can do in any video game. If you put forth the, uh, if you put forth the time, you put forth the dedication, you put, you have the passion to improve, you'll get there. It might take you a long time, but anybody can do anything. Like, there's no video game that's too difficult. It's just how much time you want to put in. That's the only question. Oh, Doomsday. I, I already told you, man. I'm gonna have to fall back on my, uh... Like, crawling versus walking analogy. It's the same reason that, you know, King Hippo doesn't go for sub-tanks. Ah, jeez, failed all the neons. Come on, it's just a little jump. <laughs> nope, bump my head. You know, double neons is so hard. It just says, okay, so I'll only be able to get 3258 instead of 3259. What are you talking about? Or, no, that's a 6. I don't know where I saw a 9. The sub tank cost is much larger. Yeah, yeah. Like, back when I played this game regularly, I was at the point where I was going to cut out sub tanks out of my run, like I was ready to do it, but that's when I started, uh, that's when I joined the tournament, the X2 tournament, and I was like, I shouldn't cut out sub tanks right before, like right in time for this tournament, that's the worst time to make a transition, but then I ended up stopped playing the game, uh, like around the, uh, tournament, and then, you know, fast forward to now, and like, I haven't been playing the game as much. But like, if I seriously get back into X2, then yeah, I'm gonna cut out the sub-tanks, cause I don't- I honestly don't really need them. 
Like, I'm not, I'm definitely nowhere near 100% consistency on boss rush, but I'm mostly there. Like, I really don't need the sub tanks at my current level. Just a little bit more practice, I'll be fine. Like, all I gotta do, man, is just play the game. <laughs> you return to see a terrible run? Yo, man, not every run's gonna be the good one. The good runs are the rare ones. Those are the ones you miss. And you go, what? You got world record while I was away. And you're like, sorry, buddy. You had to go get your pop tart. It is what it is. Maybe, you know, use, uh, or eat something that you don't have to cook. Like walnuts or something. I don't know. You wanted to put, no, you don't even have to put the pop tart into the toaster. That's your own fault. You could have had a cold pop tart and you would have seen the world record. But nope. Had to, had to toast your pop tart. That's your problem. Is what it is. Alright. Bubble Crab. Easiest boss in the game. Easiest boss. Did I say easiest? I meant the one I will always mess up forever. Wait, no, I'm not feeling it yet. That'll be good enough. <laughs> I'm so bad at bubble crab. Like, that's, that's where... That's what's currently holding me back. Because, like, back when I was playing more regularly, I mean, yeah, I always hated bubble crab, but, like, I was getting there. Like, that's why my possible time save going for my PB for, uh... For boss rush is 1.16. Like, I was getting really, really good at boss rush, but yeah, not so much anymore. Yeah, Wolfgang is saying, if only I was cooking, I've been stuck working from home most of the day on a Sunday. Work OP. But at least you finally fixed the issue. Yo, that's awesome, man. I mean, you know, you got it. You got the work done. That's all that matters. Why am I doing this in the opposite order? In Super Sin Slayer, out of curiosity, Banks, have you ever had people challenge you to a 1v2 or 1v3 in Smash? Yes! I used to do that a lot back in Melee. And I've done it a few times in Brawl. But you know how it is. It's like, your friends want to play Smash Brothers with you, and you're like, nah, you don't understand. Like, I'll, I'll definitely beat you. It'll be very one-sided. Like, no, you gotta play your best character. You gotta go all out. You, you can't beat me. And I'm like, all right, man. You're not gonna have any fun, but okay. And then you trash them. And they're like, all right. How can we make this more interesting? I'm like, I know. How about me versus two of your friends? They're like, what? You can't beat all of us. He beat all of us. Yeah, that's obviously, like, very casual players. And he's saying, haha, thanks, that's nostalgia right there. <laughs> Yo, it happens, man. But yeah, man, I remember way back in the day, like, uh, in Aussie, I say way back in the day, it was like, what was that, three years ago? Well, well, three to five years ago, within that time frame. Yeah, there was these free-for-all tournaments I used to play in. Those were funny. And, like, there would end up being these weird, like, quasi-1v3s that would happen at any given point in time. <laughs> Those, that was funny, man. Yeah, no, it's impossible. Impossible. Why do people go for that? Yo, you're a real jerk, Snail. You know that? I hope he knows he's a jerk. He's a real jerk. You wish your would be more active on Anther's Ladder? Yo, I used to be on Anther's Ladder all the time, man. Those were good times. But I don't really play Smash Brothers as much as I used to. I used to play it a lot, but yeah, unfortunately not anymore.
Yo, let's see. Wolfgang saying he thinks uh, only a fool would be arrogant going into a smash fight with Super 2U. And D says, so I'm arrogant? But wait, he said only a fool would be arrogant. So are you saying that you yourself are a fool, Deez? Is that what you're saying? Because he didn't say you are arrogant, nor did he say you are a fool. But if you identify as a fool, then that would make sense as to why you might think that you are arrogant. You see the dilemma you've caused for yourself, right? <laughs> I'm just saying. It all lines up. Alright, let's beat Sigma, man. Easy peasy. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, I'm still alive. I'll take it. And I messed the... Messed up the sure you can. Those are hard. Daniel's saying it's so funny that Smash Melee costs more than the whole GameCube. <laughs> Yo, man. I didn't realize that was the case. Alright, no more zeros. Get out of here, guy. Out of here, guy. Don't care about you. Got a Sigma to fight, man. Oh, whoops. Oh, he's not a fool or arrogant? Oh, whoops. Because I'm not arrogant. <laughs> okay, man, words can be pretty hard. I mean, it's not exactly a 10-0 matchup, but it's tough. That's yeah, so the way you interpreted the sentence? Got you. Yeah, I, did, I was just taking it word for word from what I saw. So I was just putting the logic lines next to one another. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm retired. I don't play Smash anymore. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'll take it. 40-43. That's a gold split on Sigma? How? How is that a gold split? In what world is that a gold split? How much time was there to save? 29.96 and I saved 31.8? Are you serious? Because... I messed up the introduction to Zero's fight. Yeah, I definitely messed up, uh, definitely messed up the Zero fight. I, uh, didn't use a brush burner somewhere. I didn't jump off the block. Interesting. There's a better gold split out there, man. There's a better gold split. It exists. Yeah, Wolfgang isn't sure how the sentence could be interpreted any different than how it was written. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Daniel saying do the two gold in one run and go plus two minutes. <laughs> yeah, nah, that'll that'll just we'll do that easy peasy. Yeah, nah, there's only like ten minutes of stream time left. I don't really have time for another run, so I'm just gonna do some practice. Just do some practice. Yeah, there's a few things I need to practice. Let's see. Centipede? No, we did centipede just fine. Snail, though. Been kinda inconsistent on this guy. Okay, he's too easy. Alright, let's not mess up this like I did last time. How about that? Yeah, that's how it's supposed to go. That's, that's perfect. Yeah, my movement was pretty shoddy last time. Whoops, apparently sure you can are hard. New Tommy saying thanks for the stream, thanks, I'm off to bed. Yo, later Tommy! 
I'll be uh, heading to bed not too long from now myself. Yo, have a good night, dude. <laughs> I'm retired and before Smash 5. Yeah, I'll definitely play Smash 5. I don't know how seriously I'll take the game, but if there's a new Smash Brothers game, I'll definitely play it. Oh, and uh, Super Sin Slayer was saying uh, we're pretty much stuck in the same retirement home, eh, buddy? Yo, it is what it is, man. I don't know. I've uh, not really been playing competitive Smash for a while now. I think I stopped playing pretty much, like, what was it, last year, I think? Around June, yeah, I think it was like June, it was like June or July 2016. Like, I was doing, I was doing some tournaments, I was having a lot of fun, but like, just as it went on and on, I don't know, the scene that I was in was getting really toxic, and it just took a lot of fun out of it, and I was like, you know, I don't really care that much. Ah, jeez, of course I would mess up the last generation. He stops being on top of me. I didn't know that was an option. Oh, and he's back. I've never seen him do that before. Eh, whatever. Yeah, this this is what I need to practice for certain. Great. Right, which one was that? Oh, nope. Not that weapon cycle. Yep. These games are hard. <laughs> nope. Wolfgang's saying, uh, I don't want to say that... Yeah, no, it's it's all good. Like, Wolfgang clearly didn't mean anything mean. He's not that kind of guy. Words can be hard to read, though. 10-0 matchup, man. Why do you leave me? Come back! Ah, I didn't land on the, uh... Didn't land on the ground. Yeah, that's what I want, man. I want to get on that elevator. Elevators are like my thing, you know? Rest in peace, old Soba Smash? Yeah. Hmm, I guess I'll just bump my head there. Let's see, what are we saying? D says the question is about skill level, so if you say it to a top player, you can just laugh about it to some beginner, that would be intimidating. Now you know it wasn't offensive or mean. Okay. What was my plan there? No, I slid off. That was it. That was it, man. I was on the thing and I was like, slide on out. I don't want none of that. That looks too effective for getting old PB. I don't need all that in my life. PBs. Those are for people that want to go fast. <laughs> no, I didn't reach the flames. A little too early to the right there, Banks. A little too early. Yeah, I bumped my head. That's so tough. Sometimes I'm so much higher up, but like there's not a lot of time to see what I'm doing. I have to be pressing those buttons.
man. We're getting there, dude. We're getting somewhere. And bump ahead. No! Sliding off makes me so sad! Oh, man. I don't want any PB. PBs are for squares, dude. Wolfgang, uh, I promise you if I ever want to make a direct statement about someone, I won't be shy in doing so. <laughs> yep. Oh, man. I'm a pretty straightforward person myself. Like, I try not to be rude, but I can be pretty competitive at times. Like, especially when I was younger. Like, I remember, like, back when I was in high school, people would be like, Oh, dude, I could totally beat you in, uh... Halo 2, and I'm like, do you play online? And they're like, no. I'm like, oh, then you can't beat me. <laughs> they're like, what do you mean? It's like, well, if you play online, then you play against, you know, you're in the rank system, you're playing against uh, really good players, and, you know, based on your rank number, you can tell me, like, how good you are. You're like, yeah, I'm rank 32. They're like, oh, you're really far up there. You must be good at the game. But, like, if you don't play ranked at all, and you're only playing with your friends, then, like, there's just all these strategies you're just not even going to know. Your accuracy can be as good as you want it to be, but you're just uh, you're just not going to be an opponent for me. It was the same thing with Smash Brothers to an effect, but you know, not like I have an awesome rank system or anything. Instead, it would just be, uh, oh, dude, this guy could totally beat you in Smash Brothers. What's his name? Uh, su such and such. I've never heard that name before. He can't beat me. <laughs> I know all the people in this area that can beat me. I know their names. <laughs> if I do not know your name, you cannot beat me. That's how it used to be. Now I'm retired, so it's like, eh, anybody can do it. I've played that game forever. There we go, getting on that elevator. <laughs> Dang, why, what, <laughs> what is, what even is going on? All right, I have a great idea. What, what, what is it, what is it? Bam, <laughs> chat was cleared by a moderator, which is a lie, because I did it, but um, but yeah, let's let's put it into that. Like if uh yeah, let's just not even let's just not even go there. That would be great. I don't even understand how we got to that. I don't want any explanations, so I'm all good on that. I got one minute left of stream time. Let's be, let's play nice. Everybody have their, their big boy pants on, man. I just want to do an elevator skip. That's all I want. If I could get it two times in a row, that would be pretty ace. Nope! Slippity slide on off! Two times in a row is too hard. <laughs> Banks is a moderator? I know, right? Ah, oh, jeez, man. Why isn't the time up yet? Skip is stupid. Why? I'm right there! Aw, oh, dude, I didn't land on the thing. Alright, that's me. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that's it for me, man. I will catch you guys tomorrow. And we will be playing Super Mario Maker then. But, um, yeah, I, uh, it'll be fun. I was playing Mega Man X2 today, it was too hard, and uh, yeah, PBs, pfft, we'll get those some other time. Yo, night banks, yo, good night Doomsday, good night Inura, good night Deez, good night Wolfgang, good night everybody. I'll uh, hopefully see you guys around next time. <laughs> Peace.